guys, it's author Catherine Scott here. So I was just sitting here thinking and it dawned on me that I really haven't told you guys much about my background. You just have seen my videos. So let me tell you about myself. I am 36 years old, uh, seven kids, six of them I had, of, you know, biologically. The seventh child would be my nephew. My sister passed away last year and so I'm raising him. And I know a lot of people would be like, oh my God, you had six kids, why would you bring another one? Listen, seven kids after having six is no big deal. It's a little bit more money, a little adjustment, but I'm very organized when it comes to my home life, so it's really no no big thing. Um, I, our kids range from ages, we have, let me just tell you the ages, okay? 17 year old, 15 year old, two nine year olds, uh, a five-year-old, a three-year-old, and a two-year-old. That's a lot, right? Um, I work two freaking part-time jobs. Um, this is my second marriage. My first one, I divorced my husband. Um, we just weren't right for each other. He wasn't what I needed, <coughs> and I wasn't what he needed. Probably shouldn't have got married in the first place, but at the end of the day, we all make mistakes, and you just learn from them, and you continue to proceed with your life. I wish him nothing but the best in whatever he's got going on, and I hope he would feel the same way about me. Uh, let's see. What else can I tell you? So I'm also a survivor of childhood abuses of different kinds, physical, mental, emotional. I have been raped twice. Um, and you think these things like would really drown me, but they haven't. Matter of fact, it's made me be a better person. But also, I, I, if you've seen my videos before, you know I'm a huge advocate of mental health and therapy. Therapy has definitely done a great deal for me. And a lot of times, like, I'm not going to say I don't get depressed. It's, sometimes I don't even want to get out of the bed. And it, it can be really hard. Like, I don't cry a whole lot, but my tears are eternal. They're silent tears. Like, unseen tears are sometimes the worst tears to have. Um, so I carry that around a lot. Uh, last year, or was it two years? I think it was last year. I'm sorry, my mind is all over the place. Um, somebody on Facebook, one of my Facebook friends, Melissa Holmes, who is a domestic violence survivor and advocate, she posted that she was coming to Charlotte and asked if anybody wanted to speak. So I inboxed her and said I would love to do it. My DV story has a bit of a twist, okay? Um, and that's going to be a story for another day. I'm not going to really get into that right now. But from that point... I was just like, oh my God, I think this is what I want to do. Oftentimes, people tell you, oh, it's too late for you to do this or too late for you to do that. Listen, only thing that makes it too late is death. Okay? That's what makes it too late. I, 36 years, 35 then, decided this is what I wanted to do. And that's what I've been doing. I haven't, I'm not a huge, don't have a huge following or a huge platform. However, I'm hoping that'll change in the next two years. I have a lot to say and I've experienced so much in my 36 years on this earth that I feel like I can help anybody no matter what their situation is. Um, I've actually spoken at a few events thanks to Endowed in DOWD. They're also on uh, Twitter and she's, I'm sorry, she's on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and she also has a clothing line, ndowd.com. I definitely think you should check it out. Um, and I just, she just has let me speak at everything that she's done. And I feel like empowered every time I do so. Um, and then I signed like a book deal last year too. So, so I'm writing on that too. I'm doing that as well. Like this whole past year and a half has been phenomenal for me. I battled some up and down, ups and downs because again, I do battle with mental illness. So everything is not always shiny, even though it is outside or my hair is. And that's actually another reason why I always color my hair. So uh, my hair is not me, but it is me. Like when I'm feeling really, really down, I see these colors in my head. And I'm like, you know what? You fought hard for this. I fought hard for my individuality because for so long I blended in because I was afraid of what people would say about me. But, like, now I don't give a damn. Like, I am who I am. Take it or leave it. But you ain't going to check me for it. Like, that's how I really look at it. Like, take it, leave it. You're just not going to check me for it. My hair is a represent Colors is a representation of my goods and my bads, my highs and my lows, my negatives and my positives. So, like, that's why you're going to always see me with crazy colors until I'm done with them. And I really just, I started, so I'm nowhere near done with them. Check out my next color. It's going to be really, really cute. I love my stylist. My color is stylist, whatever. And my barber as well. So anyway, um, that's a little bit about me. If you have any other questions or anything, please feel free to leave um, a comment. 
in the video. I'm oh, sorry. A comment in the section for comments on this video. And I will try my best to answer anything that you may have or address anything you want to say. Hey, Keisha girl. I'm trying to see what you're done with your video. <laughs> Alright, bye y'all. <laughs>